all doing? Good. How are you? Hong Kong. Last time of year. This is kind of an announcement about Oh my god. It means so much to us to be able to do it. You know, I mean the show is all about representation and inclusion and you know, we thought it was important that we, you know, show a trans superhero on the so that's uh, yeah, you know, just the way the way things change is by seeing people represent us. But uh, Nia and I, I mean, first of all, we did a worldwide search for trans actors and it took us a long, long time and we hit the jackpot with Nicole Main. She's an incredible actress, she's a real life hero, she's a trans activist, and a husband since she was 14 years old, she's been honored by GLAD, she is just an extraordinary person, so we're like over the moon that we found her. And the character of Nia Nall is the great, 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 great grandmother of the Legion character from DC, uh, Nora Nall, who was Dream Girl. So Nia Nall is going to be Dreamer, and her, super her superpower is um, that she dreams the future. And she's also going to be a cub reporter at um, Cat Co, and that's how she's introduced. And she worked as an intern for Cat Grant at the White House, so Cat sends her to uh, Cara to mentor, and so it's just going to be tremendous, tremendously fun and um, so meaningful to us, and as Robert said, we our show is all about inclusion and, um, you know, representation, and we feel so honored to get to tell the story. Will we see more cat play next season? I'll be Now that we're done, because of the world killer story, we can kind of take us out of cat kind of in a way. But one of the themes that we're talking about this season is uh, what a stronger uh, hope or fear. And uh, our villain this season is uh, against, you know, there's a new rise of anti alien sentiment in the country uh, that our villain is promoting this season. And so one of the journeys that Carl will have is to kind of. Um, you know, it's a struggle for her because she represents kind of what the country is becoming afraid of. And so one of the things that she finds is that you know, we're realizing the power of the press and the power of the free press in speaking out about social issues. And so that, you know, um, she will, uh, this is the season you know, where Carl becomes as much of a superhero as she becomes. And I know that you guys aren't really up to breaking down the crossover, but what can you tell us about how you think Carl's going to react to Batwoman? Oh, well, I mean, we're excited to have uh, Batwoman in the uh, Arrowverse, but we haven't really sat down to talk about the crossover so I've been saying it's going to be a three-part crossover with us, Arrow, and uh, Flash. And you haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> in response to um, some criticisms about fractured storytelling and maybe not focusing as much on Car the last couple of seasons, how do you plan to develop her character more going into season four? You know, I mean, I think that we always feel... Uh, you know, what's great about the show is that we have a, a wonderful ensemble. ensemble. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're always telling stories that propel their story, the other characters' stories forward. But at the end of the day, we always feel that all roads kind of lead to Supergirl. So, you know, I, I know and that's, we always approach it that way, you know, how, she's, how either she's impacting the character or how they're impacting her. Well, we've talked about this a lot. Superman, the comics from the late 30s and 40s, have always told stories that about real life issues. And um, Supergirl stands for hope, help, and compassion for all. So it's in the DNA of these characters to be champions of the underdog and reflect um, through the lens of superhero stuff that people in the real world are dealing with. And we felt pretty strongly that we were off-world a lot last year, we were in Argo, we were, rain brought us to all sorts of mystical places and that this was a time we wanted to really get grounded, we wanted to be in Cuffo, and we wanted to tell these allegorical stories that, um, you know, that we're all 
talking about all day and, and thinking about all day and the divide you know there's a lot of division in this country and so we think we're a perfect show to kind of reflect um, through, again through the lens of superheroes um, that type of divide in national city and have maybe some wish fulfillment in how someone as um, hopeful and powerful as Supergirl can address them. I think so I have to take them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.